On July 17, 1967, a Florida photographer named Rocco Morbito captured one electrical lineman, saving the life of another in an image that would go down in history. There's an eerie elegance to the photo. Two men in mid-air posed like dancers. One hangs upside down with his arms over his head. The other cradles him and presses their faces together. The so-called Kiss Alive photo resonates because of its unsettling beauty. It presents a dramatic and life-saving rescue, high on a utility pole where life literally hangs in the balance between two men's leather safety straps. After capturing the heroism of one electrical lineman towards another, Jacksonville Journal photographer Rocco Morabito took his camera back to the newsroom. I think I've got a pretty good picture, he told his editor. Morabito's photograph would later win a Pulitzer Prize. This is the story of what happened on that breathtaking Florida afternoon. On July 17, 1967, a number of Jacksonville Electric Authority linemen worked on electricity poles. As Morabito studied them, thinking about how to frame a possible photo, a cry rose from the crowd. A worker on one of the poles had slumped backwards, held in place by a safety harness. Randall Champion hung upside down and unconscious above the horrified crowd. He'd accidentally contacted one of the power lines and absorbed 4,000 volts of electricity. Alarmed, Morabito radioed the newsroom and told them to send an ambulance. As the crowd watched in horror, the linemen on the pole struggled to get to Champion. But from 400 feet away came a lineman named J.D. Thompson. Thompson was Champion's friend. He met him four years earlier when they both started at J.E.A. on the same day. When he saw his friend in trouble, he sprang into action. Champion actually got a hold of the hot wire with his four fingers and the current actually blew a hole out his left foot. Thompson scrambled up the pole to Champion. Champion didn't look good at all, Thompson said. His face had turned grayish blue. To save his friend, Thompson relied on his training. He struggled to save his friend's life by giving mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. Finally, Champion started grasping and seemed to come back. He would go on to recover, and Morabito would end up winning the Pulitzer Prize in 1968. The three men remain friends. Remember, if it's more interesting, you can find it here.